Would you believe me if I told you I had this Sawgrass 1000 sitting in the box in the back of the back of the back of the old store for over a year? Well, you guys wanted me to get back into the celebration game and it's officially here. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Side Hustle and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home. Or wherever you at? And in this video, I'm about to unbox the Sawgrass 1000 and I'm going to press up some no-show socks from Substandards right after the intro. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's jump right into it. But before we do, you guys know what I need you to do for me. I need you to like this video, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff because I make videos like this all the time. And yes, I mean all the time. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right into unboxing this, man. This is pretty much no different than the Sawgrass 800. The reason that I really wanted to upgrade is especially in the new shop uh, is the ability to go wireless and print wirelessly. Uh, it's gonna actually live on the printer rack right behind me. I got some new wheels on that thing So it's a lot smoother and easier to move around um, And the thing that I like about sawgrass when I know you can convert you can do a lot of different things of the, of the nature uh, Is that it's a system? I've never had more than a paper jam when it came to using my sawgrass 400 my sawgrass 800 and now moving on to the 1000 my 800 is with my cousin who's using it a lot uh he has a youtube channel i'll link it down below called off the block apparel and then my 400 i actually had for maybe two weeks before i sold it to a friend and upgraded to get the 11 by 17 size printer um what printer do i recommend if you're gonna go with one i suggest you get the 11 by 17 uh if you can afford it uh, when it comes to buying an actual sawgrass unit because you want to be able to print at least 11 by 17 Which is the sawgrass 1000 uh, The 800 if you're trying to do shirts and stuff like that not the 800 the 400 if you're trying to do shirts and stuff like that uh, It's really small in comparison. You really want to get to that at least 11 by whatever 11 wide or 11 tall however you want to operate so open up the box you guys know what we got inside here. There is uh, just a little packing slip. Uh, got some safety information. We have our set of, uh, I guess this is our inks, right? Pretty cool box right there. That's nice, actually. I don't think the last one came like that. So that's cool to have that in there. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, but ultimately, man, it's just an, a solid printer, man. It's just a solid home-based printer uh, that I'm going to pull out now, grab it by the plastic, real simple, real easy, uh, nothing major from that standpoint, uh, nothing different, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be excited. In this video, I think I actually will go ahead and do a print uh, once I get it all set up, but it's nothing major. We got our cords here that we need, our power cord uh, and a USB cord as well. And if I'm um, do this, I mean, this thing is, you know, it's huge. Obviously, uh, we got to remove all of this tape and get it all set up and ready to print. And I'm going to get it in position, set it up. And I do want to go ahead and do something or print something or press something uh, for you guys. I just like it, man. It's very, very easy to use. The computer system is easy to use. There are other options out here when it comes to sublimation printers. Uh, as far as converting, if you want to figure out how to convert or what you can do with converting, uh, go ahead and visit Cosmos Inc. I have a video that I'll link down in the description, kind of giving you guys a generalized overview of what it is that uh, you can convert and stuff like that. But again, for me, it's all about the systems. Uh, another alternative would be the Epson systems, the F570 and the 170. Kind of hard to come by right now. Uh, and if you can spend a little bit of extra money to get to the uh, 570, you won't go wrong, a wider format. But again, these sawgrass machines are systems, and that's why I enjoy them. Uh, never had more than a paper jam, I can't say that. 
any more than, than I have already. I wanna go ahead now and give this thing the ultimate smell test. It's smell time, smell time, smell time. All right, let's go ahead and see what this smells like. Oh man, I know what it smells like right off the bat. I just got a brand new pair of shoes, okay? And they happen to be some Yeezys and it smells like some brand new Yeezys, man. It's like some overpriced shoes, man. And I got mine on a resale tip, so you, know, you guys know how it is. It's an overpriced printer, but it is a system and you can't go wrong with systems. You cannot pay enough for peace of mind. And this is gonna give you peace of mind when it comes to printing versus actually converting in my opinion i know you know things are really really smooth as, and getting better and better with converting printers and stuff like that but like i said man no more than the paper jam in my experience with sawgrass so they get the thumbs up for me and my book gonna be interesting to see what the future holds for them with epson now being able to make small format printers and things like that so i'm gonna get this thing unboxed officially into its position plugged up turned on and then i'll come back and i'll print something out for you guys See you guys in a second. Okay, so she's all in position and this is where she's going to rest. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is turn her on. Gonna go ahead and get my uh, ink cartridges or ink sets ready here. got our K or our black here slide that in there mm, 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 mm. wrong way we're going a monster we're going a monster upside down was I not upside down there we go got to figure out which way these cards go Got our cyan. Followed by our yellow, which is the Y. And then last but not least, our magenta. Four colors, ready to go. Boom, boom, boom. The next thing that we're going to need while we get this ready, and this comes in a bunch of different sizes, is going to be our paper. Uh, I use text or print. Uh, that's kind of what uh, I've always used. There's other papers out here. You got uh, Crafting Besties and some other places uh, that you can get paper from. Text or print. Has been my go-to. I will test out some of the other papers that are available. Uh, and we will have those ready to rock too as well. So just get the paper ready here. This is 11 by 17 paper. Loading ink first time. Wait, do not touch machine for seven minutes. So we're going to let this rock and then we're going to come back and uh, be ready to print something. All right, so we're all loaded up and ready to go. The first thing I got to do here is load my paper. All right, and when it comes to loading the paper, I got 11 by 17. So the first thing you got to do is extend this cartridge uh, in order to hold the paper. So by hitting this, this slides it in and out according to whatever paper you use. Uh, and you can see on this bottom here is 11, eight and a half. So based on whatever size uh, paper you're using, it comes in a bunch of sizes. Uh, for different reasons. Again, I got 11 by 17. 
So I want to have it set right at the 11 mark. And then the next thing I got to do is I got to extend this. So I got to flip these two clips out so that this cartridge can extend out. And now we have a full, pop that back in. We can go ahead and fully uh, fit our paper in. So now our bottom piece here is gonna kind of hang out. You slide that out and now you can fit your paper inside of this portion here. So I got my Techstar print ready to roll. Uh, sometimes you'll get an end that's folded like this. And this is what used to give me the paper jams on my 800. So just make sure you try to put the side that um, is not, doesn't have like any little bins in it if you can uh, inside there. So I'm gonna slide this in here. Boom. Make sure it fits in here nicely. Nice and flat, even, snug. Good there. Good to go there. I gotta get, I, I didn't set up on Wi Fi yet, so I do need to plug in my cords here. Oops, plug in my cord. I'm just gonna do a wire print for the day so I can get you guys this tutorial out. I'm gonna grab my dongle from over here and we're gonna hook up into the computer. So I prepared a file already. Uh, we're gonna print some no-show socks. Got some no-show socks here that we're gonna print. Um, all I did was make a basic generic square template which is uh, five by 10. Uh, it's a little bleed in there. It's not snug, snug. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. Um, I personally like to print my stuff on Vivid. Um, so we do that, print quality high. Color, change to Vivid, already there. And uh, if all is well, we should just be able to hit print right now. And we should get our first print coming out of the Sawgrass 1000. And we'll be good to go. I don't want anything to offer. So let's see what happens here. Are we still on? There we go. All right, so I got my first prints fresh off of the Sawgrass printer that you guys just got the watch come off. Uh, one thing I always notice about Sawgrass is sometimes, like I said before, with the paper jams and that bending up part, uh, which you'll actually find sometimes is a little, little ink on the side. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and cut these apart. Uh, we're going to do two socks, one pair. Uh, we're going to do front and back. I am a bit unprepared. I wish I had some heat tape um, in order to kind of make sure everything was placed specifically and correctly uh, and be able to tape it in place. But we're just going to wing it for this video. Uh, and we'll come around if you guys know uh, these were hanging out in the back of my trunk so I do got my lint roller I normally don't lint roll a lot of stuff but today I am if you guys want to pick up a sawgrass printer like myself visit the description down below I have a link directly to it I got mine from heat press station you guys can shop there at no extra charge to you and support the channel at the same time by visiting hpn.tshirtsizes.com that's my affiliate link to let them know that I sent you but back on to our task at hand all right, so uh, I'm going to attempt, I don't have any craft paper, so I'm really, really unprepared here. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do both of them at one time, um, and I'm going to just go ahead here, and I do want to give it a slight pre-press. Like I said, they were hanging out in my trunk, um, and I just want to give it a little bit of a, just something to hopefully get me in the right position here. Just going to go ahead and give it a slight pre-press. And I'm going to be doing a 30 second press. I'm not going to use a top cover sheet. Uh, I normally didn't have any problems and I want the words that are on here to kind of just be right over the toe portion here. And this line is a little crooked. So I want to just even out this line here because I don't want it to be crooked on the foot. Just kind of get that up a little bit so it's a little flatter than what it just was okay there we go right about there that looks good all right so go ahead now and 
I'm gonna put this right where I want it, about right there. I'm gonna grab another one. This one looks definitely looks a lot flatter. Happy with it there. So we're gonna grab one here, and we're gonna try to position it about the same height as the other one, um, somewhere near about right there. Just make sure that we got enough room on both sides of it. That looks good. Paper looks a little cricket. There we go. And that looks good. All right, so I'm going to do a 30 second press here. Uh, and here goes nothing. Two, one. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at how we did. Bow, look at that. That looks good. Bow, look at that. That looks good. All right, super, super hot. All right, here goes our first sided print right there. That looks super, super clean, super, super good. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to flip it a little bit. I'm going to just roll the edges in a little bit so we get a little bit of overlapping so we don't get that white band on the side. Just a little bit of color we want on the back side coming from the front. So that way now when we press the back, we will be in good shape there. So I just want to roll it just a hair, right? So I see a little bit of the front print coming around the back all over this there and there. That looks good. And put it right back inside of the little ghosted marks that we had. I'm using regular copy paper as my craft paper. Uh, again, a little bit unprepared, but I was feeling myself. I was feeling the fit. I got the circle unbranded shorts on, and then I have my words and whimsy slash t-shirt style suit uh, tie-dye shirt on. So I said today, I'm feeling like I need to do an unboxing video, and that's what you guys are currently witnessing. So a little bit of rollage there, and now we're just going to go ahead now and drop the back on. So same deal. Let's make sure we got it positioned pretty much. Uh, I don't know how close I can get it to the same spot as the back or rather as the top but that looks good right about there and we're gonna get one more and position it about right there and move it over to the center a little bit more mm. and up Let me check that out all right that looks good not perfect, but in good shape there. Again, I would definitely like to have some heat tape for this. Uh, but we're going to go ahead now, give it another 30 second press. Four, three, two, one. Woo, that one stuck up to the top there. That looks good. That looks good, looks good, looks good. So. The reason that we did the little rollage there is so that you don't get any white on the sides. You guys see there isn't any white here because we rolled it over a little bit. Uh, we got our fronts and we got backs looking really good, really clear. So you better throw these on and you can make some no show socks for your customers. If you guys want to pick up some of these socks. You guys can visit thesubstandards.tshirtsizers.com. They're starting at about $4 for a single pair, and then they got price breaks all throughout based on the quantity that you want to order. Take a look at them. Check them out. Definitely something that I like. Again, the thing I like about these is in the back here, they have the plastic little rubber spots here so that uh, they don't slide down your heel. As you guys know, some of those no-show socks that slide down your heel. Again, if you want to do that, go ahead and visit thesubstandards.tshirtsizers.com. If you want to pick up a sawgrass printing machine, go ahead and visit uh, hpn.tshirtsizers.com. I'll have links to everything down in the description. Today, I was pressing on the stalls A to Z press. I already told you what I'm wearing. If you guys want to see more sublimation videos, let me know what you want to see me sublimate down in the description below because everything is finally ready. I had that printer for over a year sitting in a box, but not no more. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been your boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Meet me down in the comments. Peace.